Hey, everybody in here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you wonderful, lovely people. Today, it's going to be sunny. It's a little cold right now, but it's going to warm up, so it is going to be a beautiful, sun-filled, glorious day. I don't know what I've got on my agenda, but all I know is i got to get outside. Ooh, look who we have over there. You go, girl. What I want to do first is cook up something in the crock pot. So I'm going to do a crock pot lasagna. I just got some tomato sauce. Actually, it's a condensed tomato soup down in the bottom. One layer of uncooked lasagna noodles. More tomato sauce. One layer of Mary's delicious canned beef. And oh, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells just so good. One layer of Augustine Farms dehydrated mozzarella cheese and here this is what it looks like the can I got a big old can of it some grated Parmesan cheese some basil from my very own garden some oregano from my very own garden a few dehydrated bell peppers a little bit of garlic salt some dehydrated tomato flakes some dehydrated mushrooms some more tomato sauce and I'm gonna add a little bit of water here just pour it over. Yep, just about that much. I think that's enough for now. Then I'm just going to start layering all over again. And I'm going to push these down a little bit. And you'll notice I don't have ricotta. Yeah, I didn't put it in there because I don't have it, but that's okay. I'm putting in plenty of mozzarella cheese. The final layers are, well, lasagna noodles. And then a whole can of diced tomatoes with all of the juices. And then the mozzarella cheese, the sprinkle cheese, and the oregano, and the basil, and the garlic salt. So now I just need to find the lid, cover it up, and find a place to plug it in. I just got it right here, right next to my solar. It's a good day to do this because there's plenty of sun. So it's going to take all day, and I'll check on it several times. <laughs> oh, looky. I got a green egg in there. Thank you, Easter Egger. Their eggs are starting to get bigger. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So I'm just going to leave this down in here and maybe somebody else will come in here. Oh, look, here they all come. <laughs> Papa just gets so happy when the puppies come over to visit him. Hi, huh, boobies! Oh my gosh, they're all getting so big. Hi there, Midnight, you sweet puppy. Hello, all of you puppies, it's okay. See a couple of them? They're different sizes. Some of them are bigger, like Papa is. Sonny's one of the smaller ones. In between, he's a bigger one. Hello. Come on, sweet pea. Come say hello. <laughs> they all just love running around together. Most of the time, that uh, doesn't drive me crazy. Sometimes when I'm trying to get work done, it does. Pretty puppies. Anybody want a puppy? <laughs> Hi, Sunny. Hi, Shunny. Hi, Midnight. Hi, Junior. Hi, Papa. Go play with your boys. <laughs> yep, they just go back and forth, run around. They all have a good time together, though. It's been a pretty cool day. Well, it's been a warm day. It's been windy, so I've been having to like work with some tarps and whatnot. Um, so now I'm just going to go work on the, the compost heap a little bit. Um, you don't need to see that because it's just me shuffling around compost. But, uh, yeah, so it's been pretty good weather outside today. And after I get done with this, I'm going to go inside and check on the lasagna. One thing I've been wanting to do is shovel up a good bit of this uh, bedding that the chickens have... Uh, kicked out um and i think i'm just gonna put it in the compost heap yeah it needs a layer of it anyhow i think that's all i'm gonna take for right now because i do want to leave some of it i don't want this to become a huge muddy mess and with this kind of stuff down on it it actually improves the soil you should look down in there it looks really rich so now this is going to go on top of the compost heap there's really nothing magical about it i just basically take a composting bucket um, that I use to do my number one and number two in and dump it on the compost heap that already has a thick bed of compost and uh, then I cover it up with stuff like I got in this little wagon here 
So, yeah, that's, that's how I do it. And there it is. Not a lot of mystery behind this. Yeah, so I just put the different layering in it. I really don't toss it around too much because of the type of composting. It's actually anaerobic that I'm doing. Um, there's plenty of bugs and all kinds of wonderful things in there helping to uh, decompose what's going on in there. And maybe in a couple of years, I might be able to use this as soil around the homestead. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That cheese is melting. It's bubbling. I'm not going to lift the lid. It's not anywhere near being done. But I have a feeling this is going to be really, really delicious. All right. The lasagna is done. The noodles are done. So I'm just going to let it sit here and cool off for a little bit. And then I'm going to plate it up and eat it. Oh, I can't wait. And I've still got plenty of solar left. Oh, that this solar, the way that I've got it set up right now, is working really, really good. It does tend to work better during the winter because it's cooler and the batteries and everything is more efficient. But I have plenty more battery power left to spare for lights, charge batteries, and everything for the rest of the day. Well, it's actually like 3.30, so um, for what's left of the day. But I'm just going to sit and wait until that lasagna is cooled a little bit, and then I'm going to taste it. Here it is, you guys. Now, I wasn't under any illusion that I was going to be able to get this lasagna out of that crock pot, you know, with intact layers. That's okay. Um, it's just basically a casserole. But let me grab this. Oh, it's got ground beef in it. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, that is really, really good. Let me get a big noodle here. Look at that. They are per perfectly cooked. Perfect. All right, this is going to be hot, so. Mmm, mmm, flavor is so good. And the cheese melted down. Perfect. Augustine Farms, mm, so good. Suggest you uh, prehydrate it before you add it to food, but there was so much liquid. Ooh, it's hot on my lap. So much liquid, and I added extra just for that purpose, along with the other dehydrated stuff that's in there. Um, but I got the fluid level just right because the noodles are absolutely perfect. They are just perfect. And the cheese is melted beautifully. Mmm. All right. I'm not going <laughs> to make you guys sit here and watch me eat the whole thing. But the mushrooms turned out great. Everything turned out great. Rehydrated perfectly. The noodles are done perfectly. And the ground beef that um, Mary made for me, canned, it is just so flavorful. Mmm. This has been a success. Yum. I have had two servings of that so far, and there is like a huge crock left. Now, that crock pot, my old neighbor Denise gave it to me. Um, thank you, Denise. I still love that crock pot. It's the perfect size because it's big enough to fit a whole chicken in, but it's not so big that I really can't use it because it's just me cooking for myself. Um, and it's not too small that, you know, I did have a much smaller one, but you couldn't hardly fit anything in it. I still used it, but this one is the perfect size. And um, so there's like so much left in it, but I think it'll be okay. Once it's all cooled down, I'm going to put it in the um, ice chest outside and it'll, it'll keep just fine overnight because the temperatures are going to drop pretty low again. So I'll be able to eat off of it for a couple of days. Ah, oh, love it. So thank you, Mary, for the beef. The beef is perfect. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't put the, the fat in there. I mean, I put some of it in there, but the bigger pieces, I set it aside and I'm going to use it for something else. Anyhow, oh, all I got to do yet today is go collect eggs, put the chickens to bed, play with the puppies a little bit more, and uh, call it a day. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.